All right. Um, so, hey, welcome to an extreme stream. You know, I don't know what to call these if they're not Insday Wednesdays, but welcome to a special Saturday stream of Aquamoto Racing Utopia. Now, when I click this over, uh, this game, God, if you click to any program that's not it, um, the game just minimizes. So, hold on. I don't know why it does that. But hopefully it will find, hopefully it'll stop being a black screen and it will find the damn program soon. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to fuck around with this. What's up, Connor Hodges? What's up, Mr. Noob? Okay, please find Steam. Please. What? You were finding it before. God damn it, I'm gonna have to do a fucking screen capture. Okay, um... I'm sorry, guys. I hate it when games do this and I don't know how to turn it off. Okay, window capture. Sure. Uh, fuck, that's not it. It's not window capture. I always get this wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is gonna start eventually. Display capture. Okay. And so now, let's turn the game on. And we'll just have to do it that way. <sighs> I, I don't know why games do this. And it's, I don't want to start off in a sour mood. But, yeah, I barely could create a profile, because I was like, well, I have to get ready for the stream, but, oh shit, suddenly I'm dealing with this happening all the time. Alright, so, um, okay, so now actually starting. Aquamoto Racing Utopia is made by uh, Zorbiz or Zordiz, something like that. Who also developed the game Snow Moto Racing Freedom, which I played earlier this year, back kind of in the winter time. Oh, man, woman, yeah. And uh, um, that was a snowmobiling game. This is a jet skiing game, so you know it's summer. Let's get some fun in the sun. Oh, randomizing. What are we randomizing? Just the entire person, and then if we like, oh. I like little oh, grandpa there going for the given for going for the racing title. Oh, then we can randomize the outfits or the color schemes. I remember this. I remember this in um, Snow Moto, which I'll probably just call it Snow Moto instead of you know Snow Moto Racing Freedom. It was really cool about letting you basically randomize uh, almost everything. It, you know, and, and, and really giving you a lot of options. But you know I'm a nice dark green guy. So we're going to go with green and then like a dark red. And we can have a wee boy or a big boy. Let's get a big boy. Oh yeah, that's me. That's me out there on the slopes. Uh, Okay, that's quite a lot of options. Can we turn the... Can we turn the fucking, uh... Helmet off? Um... Oh! Oh! I'm done. Whoa! Zordix has unlocked by earning a medal in all time trial and freestyle events. That's cool. They got some cool little humor options. Unlocked by online level 1. Online level 4. Heh. <laughs> uh, that's cool. So yeah, you... Got all sorts of helmets, tattoos. It's kind of odd, like, being on a slider like this, but, uh... Alright, let's find one that really shows... Oh, never mind. Oh, I was gonna say, why that looks pretty bland for something you'd unlock, but nope, it, it just goes with the other outfit. So, get a suit and tie at the top of online. Now, I wonder if, like, uh, the snow moto racing game uh if the best if the highest online rank will be like someone at rank like seven okay all right uh 
Oh, wear those converse to the those converse boots to your water water slopes. Yeah, so uh how's everyone's Saturday going, I guess. I don't care. Let's get going. Alright. So that's our dude. Uh, uh, options. Let me check these a bit. See, this is what I was looking for. I was looking for like a do not minimize. Or, you know, do not go silent when minimized sort of thing. But let's check out the controls. Yeah, that looks very familiar to Snow Moto, even though it's been a while since I played that, so I probably won't remember what to do. I'll probably have to check this multiple times. This is just stunts. Um, turbo is A. Okay, Excel. Okay, so it's one of those games where accelerate is on the triggers. Okay, sharp turn, stunt button. I, I had the same problem about Snow Moto, where kind of just looking at this, it's kind of like you get sort of confused. It just sort of really hits you all at once. And I don't know what they can do, considering a lot of, you, you know, it's a standard thing to point out. It will, you have to point out every button. But, uh... Alright, so we got... Oh, we got stunts on the water. I remember, uh... Remember, um... God, I'm not doing well at this. I'm too used to Borderlands now, where I have people to talk to and and such. So, you know what, let's just, um... Maybe ride around at our leisure. Tropical Islands. Are all these unlocked? That's kind of cool, they are. Um, let's try the Pearl Dome. Division, runabout, or ski. Oh, yeah. This is either where you could sit down or where you're standing up. I like the ones where you're standing up. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, the, the cache in front of it. Yeah, and just like Snow Motor, the craft look really cool. Like, they're really busy with a lot going on. Um, and not just... Not just big, blocky colors. Alright, so I'm gonna need to ride around a bit. Alright, sharp turn is gonna be especially needed. Oh, they actually really didn't give me a lot of space. <laughs> oh, that's... That's a lot more involved than um, Snow Moto was. Like in Snow Moto, when you'd pull a trick, it would be a pretty simple, uh, be a pretty simple font and no like voice lines to go with it. Snow Moto kind of felt featureless, sort of like it was missing those extra touches. All right, so what was? Oh my God, dude! It, I kind of like ragdolled back onto the thing. All right, so you use up all your turbo in one shot. I remember Snow Moto, you'd only use up a third of it or something. Oh, what's up, John? Freestyle power boating? Nah, man, this is called jet skiing. You know, kind of like Jet X20 or Wave Racer 64. This, or Wave Race 64. This game gets a lot of references to Wave Race 64. Okay, there's actually not a lot of room for me to play around in and whatever, but I mean, I, I think I get the basic controls. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, stunt control, so I'm gonna probably be, uh... They expect you to use those jumps? Yeah, I was just trying to get a feel for the, um... The game. Okay, so... Yeah. You know what? I'll consider that enough, just riding around, having a good time. Uh, and we'll get into some real stuff. All right, Championship Online. I guess there is a tutorial, but I'd like to think not. Is this Xbox One? No, this is on Steam. And graphics are crap? I mean... 
I I think they're all right. Uh, um, runabouts, skis, freestyle challenges. Um, if I I want to check the latency of the stream because it seems like you guys you know aren't responding as fast, but obviously because. The game's gonna throw a bitch fit when I close out, so... Sorry, let me just... Stream options... Nope, it's it's on ultra-low latency. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what the game's doing, but, um... Every time you close away to another program, it minimizes itself. Oh yeah, Xbox One controller. Yeah, I, uh... I, I like to use controller when I can. All right. Oh, Andrew Rocket is here to uh, talk to us. Welcome to the world of runabout racing. As a world champion, it's my duty to tell you that you are going to get crushed. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm only kidding. I hope to see you in the final championship. Okay. Let's see. I think Snowmoto, I think, I don't remember. I think Snowmoto had 10 of each kind. And, of course, theirs weren't broken out into, like, different types of snowmobiling. It was basically broken out into massive mountain courses with checkpoints versus really well-groomed, like, stadium-like courses. But, alright. Wave Star! That's when you do World Star, but, like, on waves. Alright. WB Racing Beginner Challenge. Wave size, narrow passages, tight corners, stun opportunities, boost opportunities. Those are kind of odd stats to uh, um, list for your course, but okay. All right. Yeah. Cash. And customize. Let's customize this sweet thing. Uh, let's make it the Insetic Mobile. Wait. I thought you custom... Yeah, that's the primary color. Can I customize any more than that? No? Snowmoto Racing, you could customize, like, two colors. Okay. Well, let's just, uh, let's just keep it, keep it like our self. And, uh, Deep Blue Bullhead. And set it back to the roots, I see. Yeah, I, I mean... Yeah, I know, Borderlands has taken up a lot of the uh, stream time, but I've still got extreme sports in mind, and I've recorded footage for another LP. I just need to get started on doing commentary. Oh. Oh. Okay. I hit that AI, and immediately he just kinda... He just kinda... This is another game where you cannot control the AI. Oh, shit. Alright, so mini-map in the bottom left. Um... Little hard to pay attention to with all the things going on. But, uh. Oh. Stunts take a little longer than you think to, um. complete. So. Good to know, but. Alright. Uh, the AI's kind of kicking up some waves. I mean, they don't seem to really go fully with what the AI is doing. But, you know, that's just a minor thing. And now I've got full boost just from having to do the sharp turns. I mean, you literally had to do the sharp turns. Uh, you know, I should test. Miss. Alright, I'm gonna miss that. And, okay, so do I get six misses? That's a lot. Oh, but missing drains any of the boost I had built up. Okay, so that's a really... What? I failed that? Okay, no, I landed that. Come on. I mean, it's probably, it's, you know, the starting fuck. Well, if I'm going to lose the boost, then I better use the boost. Jesus Christ. All right, those last two I literally didn't even intend to miss, so this is not going very well for me. You know, this is kind of like Carve, if you saw my Let's Play of that. I mean, this is just how all water sports games go. Watercraft, jet skiing, except for Jet X Duo, where, uh, you know, you have the line and you're supposed to bob and weave your way around the uh, buoys. And I, I, I guess it's probably standard to actual watercraft, you know, jet skiing that uh, 
A yellow buoy means you need to go to the to the left of it. A red buoy means you need to go to the right. I mean, that's how it was in uh, Wave Race 64. Oh, 146. Damn, if I only got one more point. But, uh, all right. You know, being able to miss six, at least. Well, six is um pretty lenient. I mean, you lose the boost you have. But, um, you know, and that's where the shortcuts are going to be, usually. At least that's how it was in Carve. There were few actual shortcuts, and it was more being strategic about when you just take a straight line instead of having to curve all the way around to um, to uh, hit a buoy the right way. Oh, Jason, you were in line skating around the block IRL. That's pretty sweet. And then... Yeah, probably, John. I mean, I just... I thought I thought I was back on it. Um, Wave Race Blue Storm 2. I haven't actually played that one yet. That's like the one GameCube game I still need to get to. And yeah, the graphics are definitely nice. Um, so how many like credits did I get? Oh, 746. The speaker voice can be turned on or off in the options menu. I'll see if it's an if it if City. Okay, that's and all. Here's the reigning champion. Oh. There you go. Oh yeah, that's a face only a mother could love. Ready, set, go. But uh I'll I'll see if the announcer's annoying, like becomes up no Okay. You know, if the AI is just going to wreck you, uh or toss you around, I see some issues with, uh, you know, all, all of you starting very close together. Wow. You know, the mini-map, um, mini-map really makes all of these things seem further spread out. Wow, it's the second level, and they're basically giving us a giant chicane. That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. That is insane for a second level. What? The the starting gate counts as a thing I can miss? What? Okay. Uh good info for the future. Um I'm not really going to be able to read chat since Wow, this game is hard, uh, already. Okay, is there anything more than just left trigger for a for a sharp turn? Because these are not sharp enough turns. I'm gonna need to remember to hit that, uh, actual... You know, uh, th okay, thanks, AI. Thanks, get off my ass! Jesus Christ. Sorry if I suddenly got sour, but like that AI would like we we were stuck on each other. Okay. <clears throat> the uh, stand-up jet skis probably have much better turning, and the levels are probably the same. Uh, sure, why not? Fuck, fuck. Oh my god. All right, now I need to be really strategic. You want know, let me skip that. Let me skip that. And watch, just with the power of strategy, I come in first. Oh yeah, um, yeah, Jason mentions for a budget game, I believe this is only $20 on Steam. This is 20, and the Snow Moto Racing Freedom game is 20. Okay. Um, you, you know, I mean... That surprised me, but... I, I, I guess, um... Once again, I could be tactical with the amount I could miss, and with being able to miss six, like I said, that's very lenient. Jeez, steering is like this thing's strong suit. Oh no, and here's a race inside that stadium. Alright, just real quick, I'm gonna... Alright, so yeah, left trigger is the sharp turn. But... 
Uh, yeah, that's the sharp turn. Can I do flips? Yeah, I can do flips. Check out that stunt menu. Uh, right trigger in the air, and then LB plus right trigger, and then LB plus right trigger in like different combinations. And then flips, you can do left trigger. So, um, oh, and it shows which uh, which which craft you can do with each stunt. Like some of them are the stand up only. Like, well, stand up. But yeah. Yeah, you know, I should try to pick up more of those coins. See see what's going on. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> You'll be changing your mind after I uh, do that again. All right, let me pick up this wheel. All right, so that is full turbo. And I'm already seeing, if this is literally only two laps, I'm already seeing that you should just um, skip this red buoy. Oh wait, this is five laps. But you can still do that like every lap and that's probably the way to beat the AI. Yeah, yeah, why do I even go for that? Doesn't even lower the amount. Oh, okay, guy. Uh, that was really basic. And, well, since it's screen sharing, because I could not get just the program to work, like. Just OBS to find Steam. Uh, you get to see that Ubis is on Final Fantasy. I'm looking at these names. I remember uh, Snowmoto. There were some good names. These look pretty basic, pretty like average. Like yeah, I can see someone have those names. Yeah, I mean, so these are not. These races are not going to have ramps. You saw there was like a freestyle competition, which I will try, and that is where the uh, stunts will be. Oh, the oil rig. Carf saved this for like the final race of the final cup. Oh, these are some serious waves. <laughs> I might be able to pull off some, some stunts. Though should I? Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I could have totally just pulled off a stunt there. Yeah, the tokens are in the air because they know. That's awesome. Oh, God, you can't even do ground tricks because you launch up into the air. So they're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. You can activate the turbo. Oh, come on. Damn it. I'm never hitting a wave like... When, oh no, woo, I thought that was gonna crash me. I never hit a wave like when um, <laughs> I'm coming up on one of those coins. You know, it's, it seems, definitely seems like I wanna, oh yeah, like there. Okay, I was just doing the can-can over and over because I didn't know what I could get away with, but uh. Sorry, sorry, if I'm not talking that much, this is a little intense. Just a little bit, bit though. You know what? This is where I skip a buoy. This is where I jump ahead. You know what? It's actually kind of nice when, when it kicks you up into the air, because then you can turn your vehicle and just kind of get going in that direction, rather than um, having to like try and do a sharp turn and take forever. All right, I'm 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 still too nervous to bust sick ass tricks during a race, um, but you know, give me give me give me some time. Is there a way to like sub dive to increase my air? Like I really do wanna. Oh god, that was a bad idea. At least you get back on your jet ski really quickly, which is nice. Oh. The one time I could have gotten that 100 coin. Oh, I got 417 stunt score. 
That was cool. That was cool. It's crazy that Wave Race Blue Storm has better physics than this. I mean, you know, that was obviously developed in-house for Nintendo. And again, this is third-party group um, making, you know, just making a game on the budget they have. But aside from the weird turns of that second course, that was pretty fun. Ah, oh, first baby, I got four thousand. That's just enough to get the uh, to get the next to get the next craft. I don't know what those are, guys are doing. They're doing some stanky leg shit or something. Nice. Oh, and I can see how many uh, events there are kind of in the bottom right of the logo. So, Wave Star Wild Race has only three events. You know what? Maybe let's give this... Oh, God. Wow. Why is everyone jumping on Steam suddenly when I have to capture my screen? Oh, I can buy... How far up does it go? Oh, I can... I have enough credits to buy basically any of these. So, all right. This is the default. Top speed is low, but it adds good steering, allegedly. Jeez. Uh, Wavestar Gale uh, loses some steering, but gains, like, top speed, acceleration, and turbo. Gains a lot of turbo. Oh, this one's even better at steering. To the detriment of everything else. Kind of a balanced one. Once again, steering focus, though though the other stats are closer. Um wouldn't you want steering and turbo? <laughs> wow, Deep Blue Leviathan is just a color palette splash on a jet ski. And then the Wave Star Storm is Wow, that's what you want when you want to do all the stunts. Uh Let's see, what's like, okay, so the gale steering is that. That's worse. That's worse. You know, I think I'll just go with the gale because I, you know, I, I, I don't know. Oh shit, I should have customized. I think I'll be able to. So yeah, let me do this unless these three races take me like hella forever. Winner of this um, and then I'll go to freestyle and maybe do some stand-up, stand-up jet skiing. I remember that uh, Snowmoto had a surprisingly like metal soundtrack, like it was like chug chug chugga chugga. I'm this one kind of seems just more like techno, techno, which is you know a cool choice, a nice choice. Especially for your boy John in chat, who I know likes that electronica. Oh. This one's kind of a challenge from the course itself. Not necessarily turning to hit the buoys, but that the course itself is um, tight and shit. Oh. And I was totally going to boost and do something sick, but then I kind of lost it right there. You know what? Actually, there might be some kind of more serious shortcuts in this game. Like, look at that. I I did a straight line out of basically nothing um, and uh, only missed one buoy. So that was pretty nice. I can tell you can kind of skirt around the inside of that rock, and I believe the AI that's, like, right behind me did, in fact, do that. Yeah, Tau, the uh, reigning champion. All right, let's not get hung up on this buoy. You know, once again, talking about Carve, um, which that game was, you know, might not have been Wave Race, but was a pretty good jet skiing game for the Xbox, actually Xbox only, um, where that game actually got pretty difficult and you really did have to balance uh, air tricks and ground tricks and 
And if you remember, basically what team you chose kind of changed your stats. And since there were two people to a team and all the racers were racing at once, uh, sometimes it did matter how well your team worked. Like in the later levels, if you did not pick the team with really good team chemistry, they actually work pretty well to zone you out, kind of block you out. Whereas the team that had both like really good speed and handling like had no teamwork so they were both basically lone wolves and you couldn't rely on them but if you go watch my carve lp yeah when i'm in ma like expert mode in those last videos you know i i know the track so well because i have to that uh like i'll throw out a ground trick that lasts exactly as long as a straightaway is and then i'll end it and power slide right into a turn Oh, this one's going to be called Triple Ripple. All right, let's customize this a bit. It's kind of sad you can only customize one color. I mean, look how much of the jet ski is left untouched by your change of color. I wonder if I bought that, uh, if I bought that Jackson Pollock, uh, one. Uh, da -da -da -da. How, you know, how much of that I'd be able to change the color of. Well, obviously, you know, no one showed up for the actual race, but uh, maybe, maybe they just forgot what, uh, maybe they just forgot what, what day it was on. You know, all the promotional material accidentally said Sunday, so they're going to fill the stands tomorrow, but unfortunately there will be no one there. I see some tokens that, once again, are basically just challenging you to uh, skip the gates. Oh, fuck. Which I think I'm going to have to. Uh, oh, no. God. Uh, did I glitch the game? I think I glitched the game. <laughs> Damn it. I, like, literally missed a trigger. Or is it because I did this? No. I, I literally missed a trigger. Oh, God. If I restart, does it uh, restart this event or the whole thing? Well, let's see. Okay. Right. Snow Moto. Snowmoto was really lenient in that as well, that you basically had unlimited continues. That was another thing about Carve, where you could only restart, uh, like, four times in in a full race series. And even then, you know, that, that would apply race to race. As in, like, you restart once on the first race, then pass it the next time, get through the second and third race, then you're on the fourth, and you mess up. You hit restart, and that's your second of the four. And it's like a six-race series. This is a small track. Oh, of all the freaking water that I could have ridden on, I instead attempted to ride on the freaking uh, buoy or something. Oh, what's up, Cheesy Tuna? Uh, unfortunately, Blackrock is gone. Yeah. Like I said, Pure was uh, just a brief shining miracle in the sky where nobody asked for it, but they delivered a hell of a game. Kit Jacques Grimillion. I like that. Lot Falk. Okay. I just noticed I'm 57. I gotta change that to 47. All right, Mangrove Mania. It's got narrow passengers. 57. I don't know if I could change that from here, but I will definitely attempt to change my number um, before we go to the next event.
Oh, this is kind of like a flooded area. Oh, wait. I see two 57s. I think that's tied to the jet ski, which is sad. Don't know why they would do that, but... Huh. Oh, I actually made him spin out. So there's like some AI interaction, but it rarely goes in your favor. Oh god, I'm like scared to... Probably could have used the turbo right there. Definitely could have used the turbo right here. Oh god. Well, you know, I guess that was a net benefit positive. Holy sh sh shit. They, I would say they took off the kid gloves, but again, that second track where it was just like randomly like, hi, here's like a million really hard turns right after each other. Um, but yeah, I guess to any, to, to anyone who just suddenly dropped in, um, I'm playing Aquamoto Racing Utopia, which is a jet skiing game on Steam. It is $20, made by the same people who did Snowmoto Racing Freedom. So this is like the summertime edition, and that was the winter edition. I saw a, I saw a blue coin, like, off there to the side where you could have totally just taken a quick little shortcut. I know this is a little more quiet than I normally have games as being, but I'm nervous to mess with it because, again, as um, soon as I, you know, switch to anything else, the game's going to throw a hissy fit. Turbo really doesn't last that long in a race, but I guess it's lasting well enough. Okay, so I see a blue, like, right there. Yeah! Okay. And that was a boost refill. Oh! Oof. I had a serious mean streak for him. You know what? I, As I did that, I thought, you know what? I could do it right and um, see what happens if you uh, do a perfect race, but... I did, that didn't stop myself in time. Wow. F six of the eight racers got disqualified? Like, did they miss too many checkpoints? Like, did the AI miss too many checkpoints? Oh, what's up, Blank Tester? Um, <laughs> I killed them all. I, I don't know. The one AI who's still in it is taking a sweet-ass time. I thought that was pretty... You know, uh, simple. Um, I hit A. Did the game freeze? Uh, guys, I I think the game just fucking froze, having me try to like you know move on, which is the first time the game's frozen, so it's it's not a... Uh, I'm not going to fault the game for that. It's a little annoying it happened literally right at the end of a racing series. <sighs> Fuck. Also, you might notice that I'm uh, screen grabbing instead of game grabbing. For some reason, I just could not get the game to appear on Steam. It, to, like, appear as game capture. Oh, and also, if I tab to any other program, like, I'm gonna click on OBS. Game minimizes automatically. So, I don't know why it's fucking doing that. This game has some problems. Alright, let's... Oh! Wait. It saved our progress. So... You want, let's give that last race one more try. Let's give that last race one more try. And then um, I'll go to like a stand-up event and maybe do a, a stunting championship. Okay, that's really good of the game that it didn't reset me back to the start of the whole race event series.
<laughs> Actually, this music sounds a little like, like kids adventure game like, like kind of like Banjo Kazooie-ish sort of. Do 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 do. Oh, where are they going? Um, where am I going? Oh, is the next, uh, oh, oh, because the next, uh, beacon was literally that far away. Oh my god! Rest in peace, Betty Clarkson. Did you see that? The AI found some huge shortcut, though. Wow. They're doing a lot better the second time around. Yeah, this is a level that's definitely about kind of like testing how much you're willing to go off the beaten path. I mean, the buoys are so few and far between that it's definitely intended that you take some massive shortcuts. Okay, well, the AI is definitely behaving better. So, hmm, I'm torn between wanting to do a perfect race and wanting to find like the ultra shortcut that the AI does. Oh, well, if I spin that guy out, I might be good anyways. Yeah, and I don't, I don't trust myself to find it, you know, suddenly on a dime. It, like, spits you out there or something. All right, let's do a perfect race. Hit all the buoys on the correct side and see what I get. If I get anything special. All right, and let's just continue before, like, I don't know what happened there. All right, there we go. There we go. The game didn't fuck up. Oh, yeah, so, hey, Taylor Slay, glad Blink Tester was there to talk to you because, God, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this game, I got I got to pay attention to it. Sign up for the Rick McCrank fan club? Yeah, in your heart. If you join the 47 crew, you're automatically drafted. In the uh, war of pro skaters, I guess we're all on Rick McCrank's side. The guy who said slam dunk sounded like Alex Jones. Oh boy. All right, so I think that was a good show off of the sit down craft. So now let's, there's the ski division, there's the stand up craft. Let me see if the freestyle division, well actually, oh, Lisa Drago. That's uh, Ivan Drago's like second cousin or nephew, or niece. Niece, yeah. Oh, Lisa was not, like, uh... Lisa was not playing around. Okay, well, Atlantis Beginner's Cup. You know what? It's only been, like, 45 minutes. Let's do a bit more racing. Let's see if these are different levels. But first, I'm going to turn on my AC, because, uh, it's another hot day in July. Oh, but, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the Evolution Skateboarding LP. That was one of the wilder ones. That was the summer when I dragged my laptop and microphone over to friends' houses when they'd hang out, when we'd hang out and just try and get them in on it. You should, <laughs> you should check out the Matt Hoffman 2 one, where it was just like, <laughs> you could just hear people from across the room going like, are you re trying to record with us? All right. Uh, well, I, oh, actually I do have funds. I do have funds because I, uh, you know, I've done some sit downs. So let's see what we have. We have the wave star whirlwind, uh, pretty balanced, deep blue dolphin light, good steering, lower, good steering and turbo, lower Excel and stunt. The Deep Blue Orca, if you want the steering and the stunts, that'd be a good freestyle craft, I guess. Wave Star Cyclone, which... Yeah, and then it gets to stuff that's just locked. 
Hmm. It actually seems like the first craft is probably like the best overall. And also it's annoying, these numbers, you'd think like I could have picked a number to put and it would put 47 on there, but no, like the number is like tied to the jet ski. So this jet ski will always say 23. It's annoying. And of course, just like Snow Moto, you can customize like some colors, but you can't really customize the full thing. But all right, let's let's do some racing. Let's do some racing on the stand up, which Welcome to this exciting ski Oh, yeah, th yeah, this gives you the Wave Race flashbacks. Oh, and it's even got some kind of booty action, which, you know, I know Blink Tester is always a fan of. Oh, God, hitting you with sharp chicanes in, like, the first race this time. Just incredible. And hitting you with, uh... Hit, hitting you with some big jumps. It's good. Okay, I gotta... I gotta try and do a flip on one of those. Do a flip! You know what? Let me skip that. What are your thoughts about the SSX series? Dude, I love the SSX series. Uh, you know, SSX original is obviously... I mean, it's still a really good game, but you can obviously see that there's some... Uh, Rough patches. Holy shit, flipping is so slow. Do not go for flips. Wow, I crashed that. Um, yeah, yeah. So, original SSX is still good. You can kind of see some, uh, some, some janky parts. But then, Tricky and 3, blow them out of the water. Some of my favorite games of all time. On Tour is still pretty good, um, but I just never, didn't play it as much. I have never played Blur. But everyone says it sucks. <laughs> and I can imagine it if it relied on motion controls that much. Um, and then 2012 was really fun. But, you know, the most fun part of it was the multiplayer aspect. And, well, obviously that's mostly dead. Just like all, <laughs> you know, games that come out seven years ago. So, yeah, just one of my favorite game series of all time. I can go into detail about a certain game if you want, but... Uh, yeah, I just hold at least the original through three in really high regard. Betty Clarkson. That's, uh... Isn't there, uh... No, that's Betty Davis, never mind. <laughs> or Bet... Or, or, you know, if you want to be patriotic, Betsy Ross. You know, I work at the Betsy Ross Museum, and buddy, they wouldn't even let me fuck the flag. All right, Muddy Shores. Yeah, I liked that. Oh, I'll I'll pause and show off the stunts um, as well after this. Here's the latest winner of this championship. Whirlwind Edge. All right, before this gets going, check out the stunt controls. So you see some of the stunts on water. Um, that only one of the types of watercraft can use. So, like, you can only do a body spin when you're on the stand-up one. You can only do a bar sit when you're on the stand-up one, or it dragged behind. So, I'll definitely try and get, um, one of those going. If I see, uh, straight away that's good enough in this track. Oh boy, this is that same area. It's kind of the, the mangrove one. Oh, okay, that was kind of a small jump. There's just way more jumping opportunities in the stand-up ones than in the stand-up races so far than there were in the sit-down ones. Oh, where's that guy going? I'm gonna follow him. Holy crap! And you also don't even miss any buoys. So thank you, my dude, for showing me the the ultra shortcut, I guess. Oh, 
Oh my god. Okay, that one just... Just, uh, kind of launches you around. <laughs> We're back to, like, the, like, kids adventure... Not adventure game, but, like, kind of cartoony game sort of, uh... Soundtrack though, like Buddy, you showed me the shortcut lap one and you're not even gonna go for it the next time? Come on, huh? Uh, so yeah, I guess to anyone else arriving so you can see that I can miss like like uh, six of the buoys which is really lenient now, if you miss a buoy, um, any boost you've built up goes away, but that's still like, you know, you can get it back pretty fast. Oh, God. Well, you know, you know me. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. What? I was, I was doing the right stick thing and I couldn't do a body spin. Well, I accidentally went to first person right there at the end, so we might see the next race in first person. You're going to bed? Alright, see ya, see ya Jason, and you'll be able to check out the VOD. Oh, we're back to the... Oh, this one's really fun. This oil rig area, you can see the waves, they're like massive. <laughs> So, like, even just normal waves will, like, just launch you. Um, it's definitely not what I intended to do. I, I'm, got it. How do I, how did I change the camera on accident? Change view, four. I hit the X button somehow? Okay. Oh, God. This might have been the wrong track to try this on. I'm about to, like, give everyone nausea. Yeah, you know what? I'll do it on a less crazy track. But you can see on this, on this, on this ocean one, like, the kind of pickups are, like, in the air because they know that you're going to get such giant leaps off the, off the wave, off the waves. Where do you go? Oh! Turn back around. I probably should have checked the mini-map. Yo, know, let me skip that one. That one seems like the one to skip. Er, that one seems like the one to skip. Well, I'm also skipping a red. These are really weird. Like... These ones on the oil rig area. Like, even, you know, I've made a lot of comparisons to Carve. Because, well, that's a game I LP'd. And Carve, you know, it was still about, it was definitely about the buoys. But it still kind of guided you from place to place. Um. Oh no. Fuck. Are you serious? That, like, you still have to get within a certain distance of the buoy to be able to miss it? Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, it's the last course, so I guess, let's see. I, and I'm also still only in third. I guess the AI must be having some real trouble. Yeah, you can't, you know what? So I guess you can kind of take shortcuts, but you still need to get close enough to the buoy for it to be the next trigger point, which is weird. All right, ultimately, um, oh, we got one more for the crowd. 11947, I kind of want to buy another. You know, what? maybe I should buy the stunt one um, and you know, I'll buy this, but I'll still use this one to actually race. You know, this top speed is the same. Okay, I'll try that. I'll buy the stunt one because I know that I want to try the freestyle events. But look at that. 
you can only change like the tiniest blotch of color. Man. Oh, wait. Select secondary color. Suddenly you can change the rest. Never mind. Still can't change, you know, the full thing, but. You know what? Uh, I'll make this the primary color, the red. And then I'll make this the dark green, and it'll be the... What the fuck? How, do, how does this have, like, three different color options when everything else had one? Also, what am I changing? I literally can't see what I'm changing. You know, sure, we'll make it, like, pink. And if a sliver of pink shows up somewhere on... Oh, it's right there at the nose. Wow, that's really... Ugh. Okay. Sure. Try Center Arena. Oh, but now it's at night time. And here's the reigning champion. Once again, no one decided to show up, but I guess in their defense, they did decide to host this race at like 11 p.m. So, and you know the the gates, the doors to the. Uh, the doors to the stadium close at 10, so there literally couldn't be anyone here. Why did I go for a flip? I know how slow flips are, and I was still like, you know what, let me go for one. Okay, I... I, I don't know why I suddenly can't uh, do any uh, on-the-water tricks. It's something I'll try out more in the freestyle event. But I do want to figure out how to do some of those on-the-water tricks. Also, I just want to win. I'm playing bitch mode just because it seemed like some of the AI were pretty close to, uh, to me in points. Okay, I guess not, but whatever. For the crowd! Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, that was cool. Um, new watercraft unlocked. Okay, okay. Oh, t tra whoa, travelneat.com! c c c coom I shouldn't have done that. Uh, you know what, actually, let's see. 500 cc, 650 cc, 800 cc. Okay. So they go up pretty linearly in uh, engine size. You know, I don't know the engine sizes of, of watercraft, jet ski. You know, after playing so many motocross games, I know there's like 100 cc, 200 cc, 400 cc, 600 cc. But I don't know about, uh, I don't know about, uh, watercraft all right so the ruler of the freestyle is zang duck Wan. feels a little silly welcome to freestyle division i wish i had more time to talk but i have to get back to practice if i want to remain freestyle champion good luck with your competitions maybe we'll be opponents one day oh all right it gives us all three of them so, I guess Edge Stunt Show, Neptune Grand Challenge, or Jet Heads Racing. Uh, you know, we'll just start with the first one. Fond of Fame? Th oh, come on, you could have called it Pond of Fame. Like, it was right there. Alluring Lagoon and then Soar Like the Dragon. That sounds awesome. And see, that's why I bought the Deep Blue Orca, because it's got a great stunt. Yeah, yeah, that tertiary color looks like it like looks like I smacked the front of it into something and it got a bruise. <laughs> it's like it's a living jet ski or something. I don't want to think about that any more than I just did. Welcome to this exciting ski competition. You know what? I'll take your word for it. Oh, okay. So it shows you the tricks without you even really having to look at it. All right. So just like in snow moto. Once again, R, right, right, uh, 
God, I keep wanting to say trigger. Right thumbstick is kind of your main stunting thing. Then you could throw in left bumper, and then you could throw in like some up downs or left rights. Why is the stadium empty? Because once again, man, the all the flyers said Sunday on it when it's actually on uh, the this is actually on Saturday. They made a goof, so no one's here. I think these are the same tricks from uh, Snow Moto. I remember the Rock Solid and Indian were like right next to each other, but all right. All right, let's start it off with some simple stunts since we've got simple air. Um, all right, and... All right, yeah, you need to hit LB to... Uh... Oh, I'm surprised I landed that. Oh my god. They don't give you a lot of time to do these tricks. All right, let me try and do one of the ground ones. All right. Oh, and it also, if you uh, turn yourself around, it also inverts your controls, just like uh, Carved did. Whoa, that was really cool. I did kind of like a backflip 180, and that actually made the... Uh, that actually made the uh, trick easier. That's only a backflip, though. That's not like a backflip 360. That's a little unfortunate. How do I barrel roll again? RB. Okay. I also don't get turbo, which makes me sad. All right, I want to get a barrel roll in here. Nope. Not that one. Thanks, Felix. Thanks, everybody on my... Steam list for deciding to come out when I have to uh, stream my screen rather than the game. Oh, I got third. Dayu Fong got 4,000. Okay, I'm gonna have to step it up. Use easy stunt to quickly perform a random stunt for half the points. I think I did that on accident. You all, let me just do it in the air here. Simply formidable performance. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, barrel roll is right bumper. I, I, I've been hitting left bumper over and over. But luckily, we can just restart. Right, right. I remember Snowmoto did that as well. All right, I decided to just lock up and do nothing there. Fantastic. Oof. Well, how about that? So I'm supposed to like build my combo. All right, so I've got to like, uh, do a ton of stunts to keep this combo thing going. Oh god. Interesting choice. I really need to turn around and Fuck. I got like the slightest amount of air and that made me not only miss the uh Jesus Christ. There's like no air to do things half the time. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna need to do ground tricks like between all of these ramps. Oh, I got an achievement. <laughs> and as soon as I get 4,000, the other guy gets, f like, 6,000. What? Fine. Okay. Dayu Fong is telling us we'll never be first place. Okay, so... 
you like have to do wait rotate the vehicle faster in the air by pressing lt to make stunts wow okay i didn't know that thank you game You know what, let me try it off of this, uh... Wow, okay, that makes them a lot faster. Wow. Okay, uh, worked up until... Wow, yeah, like, I can pull all the flips now. Maybe that was part of the tutorial. Might have been. I mean, I skipped the tutorial, so. Terrific. Yeah. Jeez. Help. Of course, it's the headstand you gotta watch out for, because um, that one inverts the controls. Oh, that's the ramp I really need to go after. Whoa! After all of the shit that I couldn't land, I landed that? Um... Jesus, they want me to get so many points. Ugh, well, I'm getting third. Maybe I should try again to get second? Like, I kept uh, continuously missing. You know what? I'll, I'll try real hard on this on this one right here. Oh, but of course, I didn't get up to 650cc in any of the uh, racing modes, so I only have this craft. But this one looks like it'll do fine. Oh, and it's actually going give to me, give me some options. Well, I guess we're just going... Did I select the same? No, I didn't. There we go. Wow, okay, uh, yeah, Snow Moto's, uh, tricking mode was a lot more just like the air tricks, but this one really does want you to do ground tricks, like, the whole time, as well. I was trying to do some of those. Which one did I keep accidentally doing? I could never get the body spins. But stunts in the air, body flip, body varial, rock solid, Indian. I, I feel like I was doing those, but ah well. I mean, whatever. Ready, set, go. Whoa, oh, gee. <laughs> you know what? Let me see if I can get two barrel rolls off of that. <laughs> Do they really want you to raise hell on the scoreboard? Yeah, yeah. They are not screwing around with this. Well, I'm not getting that one. Oh my god. I feel like these events should have had mini-maps. Where the hell is anything? Fuck. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna Welcome just to this exciting be normal. Be normal. Ready, set, go. Way to go. Interesting choice. Oh, I think I did it. <laughs> Fantastic. Don't hit that. The water. Awesome. Yeah. That what? What did I hit there? Jesus. Unexpected. 
And then, of course, it... <laughs> it's, like, impossible. Wow. There's so much fucking flora and fauna and shit that you can't, like, even... It, go in a straight line. I'll take your word for it, buddy. If you call this formidable, then, uh... I'm the world's most formidable opponent. Fantastic. I got 147 there, that was, that was pretty cool. I feel like I couldn't do anything. I guess let me give that one more retry. I want to get at least third, but... Wow, these are hard. Especially when uh, your trick doesn't even register. Okay. Okay. I seriously keep just mashing random shit and hoping it plays out. I need a plan of attack. Alright. Just regular ass trick there. Let's get a cool 540. Let's turn around. <sighs> Let's have the trick not register at first. What are these angles that it keeps, like, fucking kicking me off on? Okay. Just... Be normal. Game. Just be normal. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Okay. Shouldn't have done a 180 there. Now I'm just stuck out here with nothing to do. And I crashed. Alright. See a big air opportunity in the distance. Line it up. I didn't keep going off these at such weird ass angles. Oh, but I got second. Now imagine if I literally did that with any competence. God, I don't get this. I could force a respawn by holding Y down for two seconds. Huh. Sunshine City. That's all it has to say. All right, now that I have more room to do stuff, let's do some stuff. I'm the best commentator. All right, that was not a place to go, but now we know. Did I not get any... Alright, you know what? This is my warm-up run. You know, I just got to this area. I don't know it, so... This is my warm-up run. I, I will say to the game devs that as soon as you add waves in, it becomes, like, really hard to justify doing ground tricks. You know, Carve, once again, going to bring it up since I've played it. Um, you could do ground tricks, and even if you ma marginally went into the air for a split second, it, you know, it didn't matter. As long as you held the trick, you were good. Uh, as long as you didn't crash into anything. But here, it's like... Why, you know, why would you even bother? The crowd is going crazy. 
All right. Now that we know the lay of the land, let's do this. Sunshine City. Ready, set, go. I think I've gotten too obsessed with trying to do like a spin and a sick trick. You know, so I think on some of these, I need to decide. Like, uh, like flip and, you know, basic right trigger trick or right thumbstick trick or uh, a left bumper right thumbstick trick. See, because even right there, like, despite trying to make it work, I just could not, uh, fuck. I just could not, um, get both in. I <sighs> the fucking waves are making it really hard to get any speed. Maybe someone should be, like, counting up, because it's kind of hard for me to do so while playing. Counting up, like, how many points do I get for, you know, a flip trick versus... Um, God. Of all the times to just completely fuck your rotation. You know, like, here, I'm gonna do a LB and right thumbstick trick. All right, 386 times two. Meanwhile, if I do a flip and a tier one trick, I get, uh, I think more. Why did that not register for so long? I was holding left bumper and down for so long and then it just didn't, you know, do anything. Stop going off at the worst angles. How do you get this one? Am I, am I sure there's no sub dive? There's got to be some hidden tech. Interesting choice. You know, I'll do that one more time because if I didn't faff around, um, I would have gotten second. All right, that's a good start. Hit this ramp more straight so that you can actually get the big ramp. Body varial was 900 times three, okay. So. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm at a bad angle. Yo, know, I think I'm just gonna skip this and just go for this one. Still only got a bar hop, really. Oh my, I risked it, I risked it. And then a fucking tiny wave happened to crash me. Oh my God. After all that setup, God, this was like my dream run in the first half, and it's literally just falling apart right here at the end. No, no, hold on. You've still got this. Wow. Wow. I mean, I got first, but I was doing so well. I was doing so well doing such basic things, and then I literally tried to do anything complicated, and it just all went to shit. I tried to do some left bumper plus up downs. I tried to do some left bumper plus left rights. I, I tried to do some ground tricks, and it all punished me. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do flick tricks. I'm trying to do right bumper plus, uh, or left bumper. You know what? Yep, 
Left bumper. Okay, I just had to make sure, because if I was saying the wrong thing, maybe I was inputting the wrong thing. Okay, you know, if I go kind of sideways, I can sort of... And with this one, I can kind of... I don't want to sound, like, pissed off with the game, you know? It doesn't deserve my ire, but... <sighs> there, it, 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 it does feel like some things are getting in the way of fun. If that makes any sense. Like, how I'm... It just keeps making me go off jumps at really weird angles and stuff like that. You know, like, if you don't go off of a jump at the, you know, at 90 degrees on, um, it, uh, screws you. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I shouldn't be so negative about this. Yeah, I, I do like how the combo system keeps itself going. Like I said, that definitely intends you to do ground tricks, um, which you know, kind of went against the game's favor right there, where, um, where, I'm gonna close my eyes so I could speak, where, um, the waves just kept getting in the way of you doing so. You know, I'm, but I'm gonna try this, though. Am I stuck with the stand-ups? Like, can't I, uh, can I switch to sit-downs? I guess I'm stuck with the stand-ups. Oh well, at least it's kind of a nice way to be able to see uh, what what is coming afterwards. All right, let me try my way through this third one. And then I saw there were challenges. So let me go for that. You know, I've, I, I've always been better at freestyle, so you know, that's that's why I'm kind of doing more of that. I, I kind of enjoy that more, even with the issues that are getting in the way. Oh, look at this. That was kind of crazy. And, and the funny thing is, like, they angled the ramp. So that you would... That was my fault. That was all my fault. That one was my fault. Can I, like, set up these left bumper and then two right bumper, uh... Uh, things? I, I don't believe so. You know, I was about to say, wow, these, it looks like there's waves, but I'm not getting punished. And then, well, that happened. But it looks like this, this, this interlude right there is calm. Damn it. I was again doing really well in the first half. You know, there's some games where you just have to pick um, a line or a tricking set to just do every time. You know, when I when I when I get to when I play kinda not buggy, but uh, games where it's hard to do you know, the tricks are hard to place well, I eventually find myself basically just 
determining a path and just doing that every time. And I feel like this trick system kind of makes me have to do that. Where I'm not able to really be freeform just because you get punished so much for, you know, accidentally kind of doing something suboptimal. So there I'm thinking, you know, double backflip down on on every control stick. Here I might remember, you know, up right trigger uh, for for ground stunt. Oh my god, those take so long. See, as soon as I start um, experimenting, that's when I get in trouble. If I stick to the basics, that's what works well. As soon as I fucking went for it, I'm like, nope, not gonna work. See, what's the point of ground tricks? What's the point of ground tricks? if so much of the game doesn't let you really use them. All right, let me try and get that in there to try and hold my lead. I hate how much I'm complaining about this game because it makes me sound like I just hate it. That was the thing about Freak Out. You know, in my original live stream, eventually it got to the point of, what does this game do good? And I feel like we accidentally got to that point because, you know, Freak Out isn't a bad game. It's just kind of a generic game. And if you're getting to a point where it's like, let's list, let's list the good things about this game. That's kind of a goof of like, there aren't that many you can think of. That kind of really makes it sound like you're putting it in a negative light. Okay, here we go. Here we're doing a thing on the oil waves, so. Oh, the soundtrack is doing some super shit. Nope, went for a big jump right when the wave was like, you know what, let me not kick you over it. Okay. I'm gonna really have to feel this one out because I, you know, as cool as it is to be like, oh, now you can, you know, use the waves. Like how they were tossing you all around in, uh, in the races. Suddenly it's like, I don't know when they'll give me big air. I don't like how there's no buoys by the ship to tell you uh, when you've gotten it too far out. Oh, oh, I landed that. At least, at least resetting you doesn't uh, make you lose your combo. Wow, and the AI really didn't know what what to do there. Interesting. Stunt overflow. Oh boy, this one's also at the oil rig. Oil rig. Ready, set, 
You think wave freestyle is easier? Yeah, I mean, it certainly seems like, uh, you know, you don't have to take the ideal angle on these. I always pick the long tricks right when the wave ref just chooses not to give me a lot of air. Awesome. Like, it's like a sign. If I am thinking of trying to go for a, for a left bumper plus two direction uh, R trick, I, just, I should probably just give up. Like, on the tricking thought. Oh, why did I release? I released both the uh, trick button and the spin faster button at the same time. I don't know why I did that. Not bad at all. Yeah. Awesome. Way to go. yeah, I'm just gonna ride this out. Outstanding performance. Wow. Like, <laughs> suddenly, two pretty easy uh, things. And then it's going to be back to the ramps, but... Try center arena. Ready, set, I mean, go. the graphics are nice. Awesome. Huh, and it's kind of kind of nice that I landed that. Oh. <sighs> All right, that was, that was just me uh, going for too much. How much are the tokens doing for me? Like, should I be even trying to go for them? I just can't tell. I'm also, like, not even collecting them. I'm just missing them. Am I hitting these ramps on the wrong side? Like, why am I not... Getting the tokens. We turn around. Oh yeah, I am. God damn it. Outstanding technique. I'm consistently on the wrong side of the ramps to get the tokens. Almost to where I'm sort of like, should I even be trying to get them? Oh, I can turn sharper while doing a I, I can't get the the body flips to work. Oh, but the uh, AI is going to go really hard on this one. Okay. All right. They're going to like... They're going to like constantly do well. I'm not, uh, increasing my combo gauge from, um, ground tricks. I'm not increasing my combo gauge from ground tricks. So I have to get air tricks, um, and ground tricks are really just there to, um, link me. Which, all right. All right. I was at a bad angle for all those. Outstanding technique. Why did I... I just... Uh, I just didn't release the trick button. I was just like, you know what? Let me, let me not release the trick button. All right. So let's turn around. At least our guy's having a lot of fun. 
Whoa, yeah, whoa! Way to go! Would have been good to, uh... I'll take your word for it. Headstand, that's the one that reverses your controls. Alright, alright, I just needed to... I'm sorry I was so quiet for that one, I just really needed to focus. And there we go. I got first in one of these. Oh, and that was the last one, right? So Zhang Dakwan uh, is blown away by us. Did my guy, like, dab right there at the very end? Oh, hey, look. Bronze, silver, gold. We got better as we went along. That's cool. All right, let's try the challenges. Uh, didn't mean to take so long in freestyle, but let's try the challenges. There's one challenge, the Eminelli challenge. This one's rather hard, so I hope you came prepared. I've been playing this game for an hour and a half, so I hope so. It, uh, suddenly the game is all about the, uh, it's all about the uh, stand-up craft. Wow, this, this is really all about Emma. I guess Emma's a real person who, uh, you know, I couldn't see that loading screen for very long, but she apparently placed first at some event in, um, 2016-2017. Oh, jeez. You know what? That's a buoy to skip. And maybe that. No, wait. Holy crap. These races aren't fucking around. Ah, uh, bruh. That's my bruh moment. Oh, and I can only miss, uh, four now. Uh, bef you know, I believe if I miss five, then that's the end there. So that, that was not a good one to miss, but sometimes I make these decisions just on the fly. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. Well, I mean, you know, first time around the track, so... So... And I believe I could just restart... Ooh, but I'm actually doing well. Okay, I just have to literally now compete without missing any. Which is gonna slow me down. Because, like, here's a really big chicane, which would have been good to be able to miss some. Fuck. Ooh. Then you kind of start looking for where can I just avoid the ramp? Uh, uh, whoa, I'm super glad I knew how to uh, fix that because that was almost disastrous. But wow. Wow, we came in first. That is pretty tough. Once again, I believe if you, res you know, you could just restart any of these races. Like it's not, um,. Gonna send you back to the start of the whole championship. Yeah, World Championship wins 2016-2017. I believe this game came out mid-2018, so... Championship. But Championship of what? Did it say what event? Ready, set, go. Oh, my god. Oh, fuck. Huh. I just turned too hard. Fuck. 
Backflips are innately easier because your craft innately tilts back when you go off a ramp because, well, the ramp innately is tilted backwards. So, if you want to go for a trick, backflip will always be pulled off faster. You know what? That seems like the buoy to miss. Or maybe one of those. Or maybe this one, just because I wasn't set up for it very well. Okay. I have to play smart. I have one more free miss. That was not smart. Let me use my boost, even though... Yeah, that seems like the best and only place to be able to use my boost. You know what? I will skip that one. Ugh, and I was kind of hoping to get the uh, instant full boost uh, thing, but I basically did. Oh wait, but I can't really use it because these are so sharp. You all use it to jet to the finish line. Uh, hey Skylar, I haven't checked Discord because if I tab to any other program, um, the game's going to minimize, but you know what? Let me just tap to it really quick. Oh, fuck. Um, well, I can't do anything about that while streaming. Uh, fuck! Why does the game do that? I, I don't know what you want me to do. Like... Mediterranean Ghost. And here's the reigning champion. Ready yeah, it is kind of surprising he's drunk. He never drinks, but I I don't know what I what I can do. Do you want me to call 911 like for his house? I I just I don't know. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be the asshole and say you probably shouldn't have told me that while I was streaming, because now I don't know how to get back to funny commentary. I don't want to just abandon what I've got going. Um, I don't know, man. Um, I guess I've got some friends, you know, back in, back in KC that I can text and say like hey can you just you know maybe drive over and check in on him but i don't know oh this is the same area as that one tricking level so that's cool and you know, maybe I'm jinxing myself, but uh, but after that first event, you know, kind of, kind of, if you know the areas, it doesn't, it, you know, it's not super hard. Maybe the last events will go all out once again, but like. You know, I'm, especially this this level is has given me enough turbo and locations to be able to use it well. You know, let me forego having a perfect race so I can take that sweet shortcut. Let me get that two hundred coins but yeah yeah I mean Emma's still coming in pretty close and I've still got to you know keep up my a game through the whole thing I mean she's always gonna get second place but 
Ski Ladies GP1. So I guess it's the Ski Ladies GP1 World Championship that she's won. I guess some good look. I could look about that. Simply formidable. Ooh, that's sharp. Shit. There's a lot of insta turbos, which. There's a lot of insta turbos, which is kind of annoying if you collect one and then you collect them all. Oh! Oh, we're gonna just gonna sabotage everyone else. We're gonna smack them right into the sides of this. Oh, jeez. It's that mangrove area, so I know there's gonna be some big shortcuts. Yep, I saw one right there, and I saw it, I, like, I saw it as the AI was taking it. Oh wait, this is the same level. Well, mostly. They've, uh, I was wondering if the game would do that. Would the game have multiple location, multiple races set kind of in the same area? And would they, uh, just kind of change up what routes you take? Or would they, you know, design a theme, but then design uh, a completely separate races for that? And it looks like they've taken one area and uh, just kind of changed where the boundaries are. Damn it. There's the, there's the shortcut that I'm... Pretty much gonna have to do right. Oh, God. See, not a place, not a lot of places you can use turbo. Okay, she's gonna take both shortcuts, so I really have to remember that there's that first one. Fuck. Shit. She kind of did what I did to her first lap and just kind of zoned me out into a... All right. There's this, which... Yeah, I I'm not even going to be able to catch up after the... Uh... Unless she really beefs it on this final ramp. Oh, and I think she did. Huh. Wow, I kind of pulled it out right at the end. What's up, Wesley West? How you doing? How you doing? Haven't played a game like this since Surf Rocket Racers on the Dreamcast. You mean in the jet skiing genre? Um, yeah, there's a few. There's obviously Wave Race 64 on the Nintendo 64, and then Blue... Storm on the GameCube. There's Carve for the Xbox original. Here's the latest winner of this championship. And uh, this, Aquamoto Racing Utopia, which is on Steam, the Switch, um, PS4. I don't know about Xbox. Probably if it's on everything else. I'm playing this kind of challenge event named off uh, Emma Nell Orthendahl, or whatever her thing is. Oh, now we're racing through like the city streets. It's kind of tough. Oh, okay, thanks, Emma. Thanks, AI. Fuck. She's really not playing around on this one. I mean, I, I... Oh, wait. There's a shortcut. Oh. See, the shortcuts in this game... You know, the, the ones actually placed in, like that one, usually don't make you miss buoys, which is kind of weird. So it's like, there's no sacrifice. Um, to it. Last lap. 
Uh, three out of three times I've continued turning way further more. Oh, but she kind of beefed that, but I beefed it enough that she came back. These are actually like real athletes. Uh, at least Emma is. I don't know about the others. Maybe they're all real. And I, in Cedic 47, just showed up to wreck their shit one day. I'm like, hey, are you guys doing a fun wave racing thing? Let me just pop on in and, uh, yeah. All right, so we still won because I got first the other times. So yeah, we beat the Eminelli challenge. And yeah. All right, well, that was the only challenge that was there. Maybe more will unlock if I go further in like the runabout divisions, the racing. Um, yeah, what else should I try? Maybe online. How many people are online? Oh, every day I win. Oh yeah, Splashdown. I forgot about Splashdown. My position. Well, actually, I haven't done any online, but... Yeah, look. The uh, top level is only level 4. That actually means that... People got to higher experience in the snowmobiling game. There's a weekly challenge. Um, what? A water lemon. Oh man, if only he was a little bit slower, he could have gotten that 147. Oh, challenge ended 630 2019. A new challenge every week. You get one attempt every day of the week. The end of the week, the top three times are declared and the crowns are handed on. Oh. So. Does that mean that, uh. Weekly Challenge 13? Yeah. Ends in 22 hours. Alright, I guess I'll end off the stream with my attempt to, uh. Um. Do this. You know? Oh, I like how you can make an attempt, but you can also just practice. So, yeah, let's just practice. Oh. Do I get any craft? Oh my god, it's at 1300 CC. That's crazy. Uh, maybe I'll try this one. Oh, yeah, and Wave Rally. But we don't talk about Wave Rally. Welcome to this exciting runabout competition. Wow, yeah, it'll just let me practice the actual race. Um, like, no frills. Alright, well. Oh, but I can only miss two. Missing a buoy in time trial adds two seconds to your total time, okay. Well, I'm glad they let me practice. Um, because <laughs> I was not ready to, like... Really screw up the both of those. Oh my god. The turbo is fully charged. I feel like this is a one where you'd want cornering, like no matter what. I don't know. You get some pretty decent top speed there, but yeah, the, the chicane parts, like, slow you way down if your turning isn't that great. Alright, what buoys is it best to pass? Because you can only miss two. Oh. Huh, that might be one. So, that might be the one, then. Uh, you know, let's just do a full race with this one, and then let's see, like, because, I mean, it does let you practice, so let me see how my time is, and then I might go for my one attempt. It's kind of, like, steep. 
how steep does it. Alright, so let's intentionally miss that red buoy again. So doing that has put four seconds on the clock. Uh, four seconds on my time. And actually stops me from getting um, a boost there, which which actually isn't good. So maybe it's like that first red in that chicane. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the first red in the second chicane to be the one to miss. It's a win. To 11.47. Okay, so let's just see how that would have stacked up. Wow. I mean, I would have gotten fourth, but Water Lemon really knows what he's doing. All right, let's do one more practice, maybe with the best steering craft. <laughs> It seems to be this deep blue Kraken Sport. But that sacrifices top speed, acceleration, and turbo. Let's see. Yeah, you know, though, let's just, you know, go all the way to the max. Welcome to this exciting runabout competition. All the way to the max. This craft has the best turning, so let's try it with it. Oh, I can already feel that, definitely. You can activate the turbo. Uh, huh, hold on. Welcome to this exciting runabout competition. Clock and Wave Runner is the same asset found in Crazy Taxi. Hmm. Interesting, I didn't know that. Turbo is all charged up. I'm getting a lot more air with this with this craft as well. I mean its stunt was pretty high as well. Does that just mean like it's m way more lightweight? All right. Well, let's let's see how it fares on this on this thing. Jesus, when I get so much air, it's like you can't re not really comparable. Unexpected. I can get a bit of turbo there. I really feel like one of these is the is the buoy to miss but then you you know don't get a turbo for uh either of those sections because it takes away your uh turbo that you have got so let's pretend that's the buoy to miss on laps two and three of course because you can only miss two god Yeah, yeah, uh, stunt stat has to just be, like, the lightweightness of the vehicle, because... Oh, no. Fuck! Yeah, wow. Uh, damn it. I was really hoping to do a, just a one-to-one -one comparison, um, between the crafts, but that's not gonna be possible because of that. This is definitely gonna be slower. I mean... You could just see that I'm I'm gonna get like a two I'm not gonna get like a two oh seven or whatever I got before. So I think maybe I'll just find a craft in the middle and just go for it. You guys don't wanna see me practice over and over and over and over. Alright. So third time's the charm, so let's make today's attempt. Yep, all right, so we tried the, that one. That one was too lightweight. We tried uh, this one. Oh God, which one did we try? This one's got really good turbo. Maybe I'll go with that one. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I want to minimize stunting. I could get it, possibly? I don't know. You know, it seems like... What? Well, you know what? This one's 48, which is one off 47. Oh, but that one's 46. Oh, but it has maximum stunt. You know what? Let's go with 48. And you know what? Let's uh, make it dark green. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just in a game that I've only played for, you know, two hours, let's go for our uh, weekly challenge. Wave to the fans, wave to the fans, yeah. And then get on it. That one's like a damn near 180. That one's really... Alright, I can't do that. That one, that is not a good move, flying all the way out there. Alright, I want to avoid that turbo. And lap one, Jesus... Lap one, I need to get the red buoy. All right. Lap one down to pass it around. Yeah, I wonder if you can get around that, man. All right, we gotta take that one better. Um, you want know lap three? Maybe I will use my turbo there, um, because I, you know you see there's a full turbo right there. All right, so now we can miss that one. Oh, but if we do that, we don't get a turbo here. Hmm. But we do get one at the end, so that does kind of counter it. I wonder if the amount of turbo you get is, uh, like, from doing these buoys right, is also dependent on your turbo stat. Alright, I, I think I maybe went a little too out of my way to get that one. Like, maybe it wasn't worth it, but... Oh, and I didn't get a turbo for the end. Ugh, I only got the 209 again. Uh, which I think puts me fourth. Yep, but, uh... Water Lemon knows something that we don't. But you know what? I... I don't know, I can't say any more than that. Oh, well, if only, uh... Ten... <coughs> you know what? All of you guys, jump in and play this challenge as well. You know, see if you could beat me. See if you could beat Roger Dodge. See if you can maybe take it straight to the top, baby! Uh, cause... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't really know if there's much more to do on this game. It's, it's decent enough. Once again, it's kind of a budget game. Um, not much online component, but hey, if they've got weekly challenges, you know, even here in 2019, that's, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think that might be it for Aquamoto Racing Utopia. Uh, real quick, gonna have to do that, but then I'll let you guys play out. Oh. But, oh yeah, I might be more, might be more active online on other uh, consoles, but yeah, so thank you all for watching, and be back with Borderlands during the week, but I did enjoy, get, you know, doing some extreme sports on the weekend, so maybe we'll see about next time, but thank you for watching.